Welcome to our Bible Meditation Channel, a sanctuary of tranquility and reflection. Today, we explore the profound message of 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10. This verse speaks to the transformative power of godly sorrow and its role in our spiritual healing. Together, let us delve into the meaning of this verse, uncover its practical application in our daily lives, engage in a guided meditation, and conclude with a prayer for healing and restoration. Find a comfortable space where you can sit peacefully and fully immerse yourself in this meditation. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and allow your body and mind to relax. Let go of any distractions or worries, focusing solely on the profound wisdom of Scripture. Verse. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10. Niv. Godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation and leaves no regret, but worldly sorrow brings death. In 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10, we discover the contrasting effects of godly sorrow and worldly sorrow. This verse teaches us that godly sorrow, when experienced in genuine repentance, leads to salvation and brings about deep transformation. It is a sorrow that acknowledges our mistakes, humbles our hearts, and draws us closer to God's forgiveness and grace. In contrast, worldly sorrow leads to spiritual death, as it is filled with regret, self-condemnation, and a lack of true repentance. Reflect on the relevance of this verse in your own life. Consider the areas in which you may have experienced sorrow or regret. How can you discern whether your sorrow is godly or worldly? How can you embrace godly sorrow, allowing it to lead you to genuine repentance, spiritual growth, and a restored relationship with God? Take a moment to ponder these questions and allow them to guide your contemplation during our meditation. Envision yourself in a peaceful garden, surrounded by blooming flowers and gentle streams. Feel the soothing atmosphere embracing your being. In this tranquil setting, bring to mind any past actions or choices that have caused you sorrow or regret. As you acknowledge these experiences, invite a sense of godly sorrow to arise within you. Let it wash over you, opening your heart to genuine repentance, forgiveness, and healing. Feel the weight of regret being lifted from your shoulders, replaced by the loving presence of God's grace. Take a few moments to meditate on this imagery allowing godly sorrow to bring transformation, peace, and restoration to your soul. Let us conclude this meditation session with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with open hearts, seeking your healing touch and grace. We acknowledge the power of godly sorrow to bring transformation and restoration to our lives. Help us discern between worldly sorrow and godly sorrow that we may humbly repent and find salvation in your loving embrace. Heal our hearts, remove our regrets, and guide us on the path of righteousness. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. As we conclude this meditation, may the words of 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10 inspire healing and transformation within your soul. Embrace godly sorrow as a catalyst for repentance and restoration, knowing that God's love and grace are always available to lift your burdens. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more Bible meditations. Until next time, may God's peace be with you always.